This is the sixth question of exercise 3.1 of lines and angles of class 9. The question given here is, it is given that angle XYZ is equal to 64 degrees and XY produced to point P. Draw a figure from the given information. Okay. Now what we have to do? Let us draw angle XYZ that is equal to 64 degrees. Okay. Let this be something like this. X, Y, Z which is equal to 64 degrees. Okay. Now, X, Y is produced to point P. Means this is line X, Y. It is produced. Means it is extended to point P. Okay. By this, uh, we can uh, say what exactly the angle here is. Okay. Let us uh, write solution for this. Okay. Given angle X, Y, Z is equal to 64 degrees. Okay. If angle X, Y, Z is equal to 64, uh, 64 degrees, then what about Z, Y, P? Okay. We know that angle P, Y, X that is this total angle. P, angle P, Y, X means this angle. So, sum of P, Y, Z plus uh, uh, X, Y, Z is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So, sum of X, Y, P uh, Z, Y, P Z, Y, P and X, Y, Z X, Y, Z is equal to 180 degrees okay so we know x y z is uh, 64 degrees therefore angle z y p plus 64 degrees is equal to 180 degrees angle z y p is equal to 180 degrees minus 64 degrees that is equal to 116 degrees so this z y p will be equal to 116 degrees okay now, if ray YQ bisects ZYP, angle ZYP, that is, if there is a ray which bisects angle ZYP, then find angle XYQ. Okay. Now, let us draw first YQ, ray YQ. So, this is the ray YQ. Okay. Now, this YQ bisects this into two equal angles. Okay. Now we know what exactly this angle is. That is 116. So that uh, we can write here angle ZYP is equal to sum of angle PYQ plus angle ZYQ. Isn't it? Where these two angles are equal. So, now what I can write something like here, um, angle ZYQ is 116. So, in place of uh, angle PYQ, I can write angle ZYQ or in place of angle ZYQ, I can write angle QYP. Okay. So, now here, I will write angle uh, QYP itself. Okay. Now. So, if I write angle PYQ or QYP are both one and the same. Okay. Let me write uh, here as it is, okay, PYQ plus angle PYQ means in place of uh, uh, ZYQ also we can write PYQ is equal to angle ZYP, okay. So, two times of angle PYQ is equal to ZYP that is 116. So, angle PYQ is equal to 116 by to that is 58 degrees okay as yes. see uh, p y q or q y p means both are one and the same now we got p y q that is p y q is 58 degrees if this is 58 degrees then surely this also will be 58 degrees because we have uh, said that here z y Q is also equal to PYQ. Why? Because this QY is bisecting this angle. 
so here you will be getting one angle and here also you will be getting same angle what you are getting this side okay so 58 degrees and 58 degrees okay now what exactly we have to find x y q that is x y q okay uh, x y q in the sense angle x y q is equal to x y q is equal to sum of the angles q y z or z y q so uh, we can write anything okay no? let angle q y z plus angle x y z x y z so q y z is nothing but q y z that is 58 degrees and x y z is nothing but 64 degrees okay now uh, sum of these two is equal to 122 degrees therefore angle x y q is equal to 122 degrees So this is what they ask you x y q is equal to 122 degrees and reflex of q y p q y p is this one q y p okay reflex of q y p means this angle okay so at y we know that total angle is 360 degrees okay so 360 degrees minus angle q y p will use reflex of q y p so how we can write here reflex or e f l e x reflex angle of q y p is equal to 360 degrees minus angle q y p okay so 360 degrees minus q y p is nothing but 58 degrees which is equal to 302 degrees therefore reflex angle q y P is equal to 302 degrees see this is what the procedure to solve the given problem